Welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me today. And today we have a very exciting, depressing video to talk about. And that's because we're talking about preparing for winter for this upcoming year. And the 12 things that you really need to be, oh, you know, getting ready on. Because you need to start doing some of these things now, folks. All right, we're talking there's millions and millions of Americans that are affected by winter weather every year. I mean, for God's sakes, a few years ago, it was snowing all the way down into Mexico. So it just goes to show you, if Mother Nature wants it to snow, it's going to snow. The weather is going to change. Things are changing, but that's a whole different video. Today we're talking about how you need to be prepared, what you need to do, and some of the top 12 things, plus a bonus at the end, and to get you ready for what is unfortunately coming. Now we all love our summertime. We love our, you know, fall, spring. Winter is a whole nother story. A lot of people like it when it first starts off and then all of a sudden, well, guess what? You know, it really kicks in and it just seems like it goes on forever, right folks? So let's get going on this. So the number one thing that you may need to make sure that you do have is a emergency plan a plan of some type something that you can share with your family especially say if you live out in the sticks and you have to evacuate you can live in a very major populated city for all that matter and if you have to leave because of a blizzard or anything like this you know having a plan in place and making sure that your family members and everybody knows about this type of stuff and where you may be going and where you're going to be staying. If nothing else, you also want to make sure that you're reaching out and you're researching where your little shelters are going to set up in case of this type of scenario in your own town and your, you know, your own little city blocks area, you know, sometimes, you know, it could be a community center, a school, whatever it could be. But find out where those places are just on the chance that, you know, you may have to go there. If you're not totally prepared number two know your weather advisory situations okay they usually issue a weather advisory when the weather looks like it oh well they're taking a wild guess and that might be you know could be bad could be not a winter weather watch means well you gotta watch and see what's gonna happen and a winter weather warning well by that time they're pretty sure that well, you're going to get smacked. So make sure that you know as far as advisory, watch, and warning. All right? They all mean something different. They all mean different things to prep for. Next on the whole good old list here, number three is a go bag. Always make sure that you do have your go bag ready. You should already have a go bag that's packed and ready to go for any type of situation. But in the wintertime, it is especially important that you do have a go bag. Make sure that you have like warm clothes in there. Maybe throw a sleeping bag, blankets, some water, snacks, anything else. You never know. You could get stranded on the roads and stuff. You need some way to stay warm. Now, one key point with that is if you do get stranded out on the road, and you are running your car every once in a while you have to get out and make sure that your tailpipe is cleaned out and is venting properly folks because if you do not do that the carbon monoxide will back up into your car you won't even know it because you can't smell it and you will die so if you're going to be ever get stranded somewhere and you're leaving your car run to stay warm because you didn't have a go bag or any type of supplies in your car then you want to make sure that you got to get out every so often and clean out that tailpipe area from the snow piling up or drifting or anything like this and make sure that it is a safe situation. Number four, winter coat. Make sure that you always have a good winter coat and you always have it with you. Whether you're wearing it or not, put it in the back seat. Make sure that you have it. Winter boots. Make sure that you're spending some good money on your winter boots to keep your feet warm. L.L. Bean and Sorrells are two of the popular number one brands, so you may want to check into some of those because this way here you can always keep your feet warm and dry number six is having a good pair of gloves make sure that you have some good gloves don't just buy those cheap little cotton gloves so ain't gonna do you any good in any type of survival type situation if you got stuck you got to dig something like that you need some good winter gloves to get you through number seven make sure that you dress in layers 
It's always easier to take clothes off if you're too hot, but if you don't have enough clothes with you or anything to put on, well, you're pretty much an icicle. So make sure that you always dress in layers this way here. You can always take off if you are getting too hot. You don't really want to sweat in this type of a situation because the sweat with the coldness outside, well, that can be a very bad combination also. So that's why it's always best to dress in layers and you can take the stuff off. Follow me on this, okay? Number eight is emergency supply kit for your car. Make sure that you have stuff in there. Make sure you have flashlights, you have extra batteries for your flashlights, emergency radio, all these different type of things. You can put what you want into these emergency supply kits. You can go to Walmart, buy these totes. You can put blankets and everything else in there. Whatever you want to put in there. Make sure it stays in your vehicle so you have it with you at all times. Okay? I mean, this I just can't stress this enough. Um, it is what it is. Make sure that the emergency supply kit is packed and in, in your car. Number nine, in your home, you want to make sure that you do have a seven-day supply of food and water. Now, I always talk about having a two-week supply of water and everything else on just about any given type of situation. That's the basic you want to go for. But most people, let's face it, nowadays are having really a hard time struggling with the whole inflation thing and everything else. So let's go with a seven-day supply of food and water in your home in case of power outages, blizzards, of things of this nature. Usually within the seven-day period, you'll at least be able to get out of your home and get to where you need to be or get to a safe place. At that point, they'll have the roads cleaned up to a certain point. Power, on the other hand, may be out for a lot longer. We've seen those scenarios play out throughout the years. Number 10, always have your rock salt. Make sure you have sand and everything else either in your vehicle in your home, in your garage, put it by the front door, in the garage, keep some in your car because if you get stuck it's always good to have a little sand, a little rock salt, the stuff is just golden. You may want to buy some of that stuff now if you can start to find it and then you have it, you don't have to worry about other people buying it all up because as you well know how everything works. As soon as the snowstorm is coming in, guess what, you know, the stores are empty of everything. So buy it now, put it in the garage, and you'll have it for a very long time. Number 11. Number 11 is a good shovel and an ice scraper. Always make sure that you do have a good shovel. I would also say that you want to get a compact fold-up like backpack shovel to keep in your car in case you get stuck or something, you got something to dig with besides using your hands. And this way here also in your home, make sure that you have a good shovel that you can clean out your walk paths and everything else and do it safely. An ice scraper comes in really handy if there's ice on the windows. Do never throw hot water on your cold windows that will shatter them. So you want to make sure that you do have a good ice scraper and it always stays in your vehicle. Number 12. This is very important folks so pay attention. Winterize your car. Now if you live in a cold climate, your car is done and your fluids and things are totally different than us people down here in warmer climates. Your antifreeze is different. Your windshield washer fluid is different. All this type of stuff. Some people change out their oils and run a different type of oil in the winter because it's so cold. You know, if you don't have a garage to put your car in, you know, when you first start up your car and stuff, you want to make sure that you just let it run for a good five minutes or so to let everything kind of warm up and get moving and everything else you know it's like when you get out of bed in the morning and it's 20 below well you know you're a little stiff so that's the same with your engine look at it that way you got to let it warm up a little bit and everything else you may want to be taking your car in to your local service provider and making sure that you know everything is good to go your antifreeze test is fine you might want to put in a, a new oil change at this point make sure you're checking your wipers make sure you have winter wipers Make sure that you're checking the washer fluid and make sure that it is also rated to 20 to 30 below zero or more depending on your area. Another thing you want to make sure you're looking at with your winterizing your car, you may want to get snow tires or have your snow tires put on. Now, in some states, they do regulate when you can put snow tires on and when you can't. 
and everything else, how long you can run them. Some states don't. So check into that and see if that's something that maybe you can get done coming up here real soon because in a lot of areas, the snow has already started to fly, say, out west in the mountains. So it's slowly working in. The seasons are changing. Number 13. Number 13 as a bonus for you folks out there. Just a little tip that I learned when I was a little kid that my dad taught me when we lived up in Indiana and we were went through the blizzard of 78 and all the harsh winters and stuff. Always make sure that you never let your car go below a half a tank of gas in the winter time. For one, it doesn't freeze up. If you have a full tank of gas, your lines won't freeze. It's just the way the physics of it all works. Make sure that you do keep some dry gas with you because you can pour the dry gas in there if you do get moisture in your tank and that will evaporate out any moisture that has got into your gas tank and is causing your vehicle to run really weird and this type of stuff. So always make sure that you keep at least a half a tank to a full tank. Never let it go below because you never know when the storms are going to hit. We all know how weathermen forecast all these lovely snowstorms and stuff that we do get and any type of storm for that matter of fact. So this way here you are prepared no matter if they're right or if they're wrong. You have a full tank of gas in case something happened and you had to leave and in a case of emergency or something you have a full tank of gas in your vehicle to hopefully get you where you need to be and be safe with you and your family. So this has been Prepare Now for Winter. As much as nobody wants to hear it, as much as probably nobody really wants to think about it, now's the time to start thinking about it and planning for a lot of these different situations. If you do need to start picking up a lot of these different things, it's something that you really want to look at doing right now because the inflation that is going on in this country, prices are on a weekly basis are just going up and up and up. So make sure that you do have what you need as far as anything for your vehicles, for your home, for your body, for whatever it may be. Plan now for the winter that is coming. Because Lord only knows what it's going to be like. Right? And the whole reason you are prepping is to be ahead of the game not behind the game. You want to have one foot in front of the other as you're walking out the door and you're nice and safe. Till next time, folks. You all stay safe. Thrive to survive. Keep prepping. Get those snow shovels ready. You're going to need them. Catch you on the flip side. Mm -hmm.